video 106 it's all about measuring measuring is something that you will likely do um, you know to check clearances between things sizes of features lengths of traces things like that so let's concentrate on exploring the measuring capabilities in UCAMX. So to look at all of the numbers that we have available, we are using the numbers menu. You can get that from view numbers if it's not on the screen already, or if you have a toolbar, you can look at the one that shows the ruler, just click on it, it brings it up. So we see, first of all, some points, point two, center, offset distance, uh, we also see two columns. Well, the first column is X and the second column is Y, even though it doesn't say that at the top. First is X, second is Y. So what are the different capabilities of measuring? Well, we have a couple of nice built-in features and we'll start with the first one, which is called measure objects. So what if I want to know the distance between these two paths? So let's zoom in, for example, over here and I want to measure between this path and this path if I use measure objects for this it immediately tells me a number of things like on the screen it immediately tells me the clearance between those two circles circular paths is 44 now how does it know that well it when we look at the numbers you see that it when we the way we measured we went a hundred mil down from the center of this path to the center of this path, it's 100 mils. It also knows that this is a, it knows the feature size, because if we do a query on this, well, it turns out that that's a circle of 56. So by using the measure num uh, objects and dragging a line, it immediately can, gives us all this information. So point one is where we started measuring. So X and Y. Point two is where we stop measuring X and Y. It calculates the center between these two features. It shows that in center. And it tells us the distance, actually the offset in X is zero because they are on the same X coordinate over here. And the offset in Y is 100. Again, because it knows that this feature is that the distance is 100 and that the feature size is 56, it knows the actual clearance is 44. So measure object is quite interesting, right? So it gives us all of these things uh, right at the get-go. So what other things can measure objects do? Well, with measure objects, remember in the Aperture Manager, we did a query uh, like I did just now. So it tells us that this is the 56. With measure objects, you can also do something similar. You can click on a feature. So we're not measuring uh, like between two features. I just click on one and it immediately identifies this as aperture 15, which is a circle of 40, which is flashed 12 times, right? So even without, so rather than go here, click somewhere and then look down here, I immediately get the information right, right on the screen like this. So that is measure object. It knows about objects. It knows about flashes, about draws. It knows the sizes. It will calculate all these things, the, the offsets and the clearances automatically for you. Now, when it does that, like, for example, I want to know how big this board is. Now, if I measure this with the objects from here to here, you will see that it will always automatically grab the shortest distance between those objects. Well, in this case, that's not really what I want. So I don't, I don't, this is not, this is not what I want to have. I want it to where I want the corner. Well, measure objects, since it automatically grabs the object and it's going to go the closest distance, it's not going to help us out over here. So let's explore the next option, which is measure points with measure points i can actually go into the corner and from one corner to the other now if i just do this it doesn't know 
this is just freehand, right? So I can drag, it tells me automatically what the measurement is, but that's not really what I want. I want it from the corner. So that's where our snap modes come into play. And we will return to this in future videos. But for now, let's say that we're going to switch the snap to point on. And with snap to point, I can point in the corner. You see how it, the little X is snapping into the corner. I move to my other corner and I let go. And the offset is 5905.5 and a half in X and 3937 in Y. So my board size is 5,905 and a half by 3,937. Now there's also a measure layer. So wouldn't I have been able to use measure layer for this? Well, measure layer, first of all, if I use this feature, it measures what the entire entirety of the features that we have on, on the screen at first if I don't do anything else now so that basically the dimension that I'm getting here this offset X and Y is not this, this one here it's actually based on these flashes so of course I could remove those flashes uh, and do this measurement again but I haven't shown you how to do this yet so that will be for a future video how can I still measure the size of the board without deleting anything well, we did already use the select window, so I'm going to use this again. Select window. I'm going to select my actual board, and now I'm going to click on layer. And suddenly I see completely different numbers, because even though it says measure layer, you actually have to read this as measure the selections on the layer. If there's no selections, it takes everything. If there, if there are selections, it takes the selections. So, of course, I'm going to get a little bit different value because this actually measures, the measure layer goes from the outside of the feature to the outside of the feature. So, I'm getting a slightly different dimension. The reason being is that, well, those lines actually have a size. They're size 8. So, I could figure out, based on this, minus the size, I can, again, I can figure out what the exact board size is. But, again... For the board size, it would be easier to just use my measure points like I showed before. Another nice application of a measure layer is for something like this. Let's say that we go here. Um, let's move a little bit up. I want to go here. I want to know the length of this piece of draw over here. Now, how if I use measure objects, I can I can click here and here and I'm getting the offset now the offset is as I explained earlier is between the hard line and the hard line I also get the clearance but the clearance is from the side to the side so neither of these are giving me exactly what I want if I use measure points well if I use one of my snap points I still have only the hard line and if I don't have any snaps, well, then it's basically, I would, the, my measurement would be as accurate as I can click. So, but how about using measure layer? Well, if I select this line like this, and now I do a measure layer, I actually get here to here. That is the actual length of my aperture of my draw over here is 33. So you see all kinds of different capabilities of measuring and that concludes video 106. Thank you.